A little over a year and a half after the U.S. Supreme Court struck down Roe versus Wade, Maine Democrats begin the process of possibly making access to abortions part of our state's constitution. Good evening, everyone. I'm Brian Yukono. And I'm Amanda Hill. It is no coincidence this process is beginning on the 51st anniversary of the original landmark decision. New Center Maine's Chloe Tebow joins us live from Augusta with details about a new bill related to this conversation. Hi, Chloe. Hey guys, yeah, dozens of Mainers gathered in Augusta today for a rally and public hearing on LD 780. Now, if passed with a two thirds majority of the Maine legislature, voters in November would be able to decide whether they want to amend our state's constitution to better protect reproductive rights. As you can imagine, reaction has been divided. And one in three women have lost the right to abortion in their home state. But you can't take back an abortion. You cannot take back ending the life of your child. Laws can and do change. The conversation surrounding reproductive rights is one of the most divisive in America. For as many of those who want to protect those rights, there are also those against them. Now, some people want to put an end to the debate entirely in Maine. This is an issue that should be decided by individuals not politicians or judges. Attacks on Mainers' right to bodily autonomy have been considered by the Maine legislature every year. Senator Eloise Vitelli, a Democrat, is the sponsor of LD 780, a resolution to amend Maine's constitution to better protect reproductive autonomy. If somebody challenged our existing, the, our rights under our existing constitution, who knows where it might end up. Vitelli says her goal with this bill is to get rid of any loopholes that might exist. Ultimately, the decision to amend the state's constitution would go to voters. The advocates say they're hopeful after watching nationwide trends. In every state where these sorts of questions have been asked to the public, the public has resoundingly said, yes, we would like to see our uh, constitutional rights enshrined. She says that includes both blue and red states. From Montana to Ohio to Kansas. Others, though, like Republican Senator Lisa Keim, are opposed to this idea, especially after another bill was signed into law last summer, allowing abortions at any time in Maine if deemed medically necessary by a doctor. Well, Maine has the most expansive abortion law in the entire nation. Kime says she's worried ambiguous language in LD 780 could lead to unintended consequences. I think that there is opportunity here also for coercion, uh, for women to feel more coercion towards having an abortion. But others say the right to choose is a personal choice that should always be personal. Every person should have autonomy over their own body and the right to choose their future for themselves and their family. Now, this legislative session is expected to wrap up by mid-April, so the hope is a vote will happen by then. Live in Augusta, Chloe Tebow, New Center, Maine. Brian, back to you. Chloe, our thanks to you tonight.